No, since Austria is a non-co-belligerent, the plan is to take these border provinces. Although I'll probably only be able to manage four of them at most, so what's that? Ooh, okay, you're quite cheap. Anyway, non-Austrian border provinces going to Bulgaria, because Bulgaria is love. Some might say they're life. Not me, though. I don't work that way. Hmm, what happened to you? Catalonia decided to come along and ensure that Holstein remains Protestant, but at least Riga will no longer be Prussian. The Prus is no longer so loose. I gotta be careful or else I'm gonna start getting called for peace. Um, still want these border provinces. But what's a man to do about that? And what's up with you? Did you lose access? It's no longer an HRE war, so you do not have free access through the HRE. Enjoy your holiday in Italy. Habsburgian piece of crap. Which means I shouldn't focus on besieging uh, Bohemia too badly. Oh, I was forgetting something very important here. Um, get another 6 from relations, and then 25, and then... Ah, can't forget that trade power. Essentially, I think people only use get trade power to make vassals. Who actually wants trade power? Unless you're playing the... Um, What am I missing here? Unless you're playing with merchant republics, is what I'm trying to say. Ah, Saxony on this, but I can get a little bonus if I just... Well, for one, you're twice as big as you need to be, but... You go take care of them, lads. Sorry, but there's more to take than that. Hold on, you own a papal core as well. Nassau. And wouldn't you know it, it costs a very convenient amount. Hmm. Now I'm glad that you didn't give that up. Well, you know what, I could, as long as this war goes on, I could force Austria into a very precarious situation financially. Again, these fort defense levels. Oh boy. I wonder if occupied and besieged will be enough. enough to get uh, peace with you. Probably not, because demands exceed war score by a considerable chunk. But we'll see what we can do. Oh, nice of you to join in, Hansa. Let me help you out. And, yeah, let's keep this going. Oh, of course! Hungary joined this war, so I can't core this one Hungarian province. Ugh. At least these are going down. Let me help you out with that. No need to take that since it's Austrian, but I do want the zips. Curiously, when I separate piece Austria, what am I looking at being able to take? Four or five provinces, but I want Pest to be one of them. So uh, Hungary is a pest and they need to go. Looks like they haven't taken the Diplomatic Defense Act, so I could be thankful for that. Yeah, the gift will be enough to secure you. 
Jake, how about carpet sieging Austria? There's still quite a few stragglers that could come out and get me, which is what I am a little bit afraid of. This, however, is a situation where I should be uh, strongly considering carpeting. Because there's nothing to fear from this guy. In fact, let's be honest, it's just the one province that I... Oh! That's why you shouldn't let your guard down. like that. Hmm. 14. No, it has to be a little bit more than that. Worth every ducat. I just want them for flavor. Gameplay-wise, there's no real good reason to get Aquileia as a vassal. They only have one province and no cores. But they're Aquileia, and I want them on the map. As badly as I want Bulgaria to remain on the map. So, welcome to the family. You don't join in my wars. At least not yet. Mmm. Delicious. Tricky mistress. How about you, Warsburg? You want out of this war? All you have to do is deny your false gods and give me a ducat or two. It doesn't even exile you, so we must have people that have access there. Are they actually out of morale? Yes, they are! Thank you, Polotsk. The man you can trust. Which means, surely, you want to give me that land now. <laughs> okay, so it's a bit of aggressive expansion, but not too much. We don't have to worry about these details. Let's just get you out. Oh, right. Let's actually make sure it goes to the right person. Oh. Can't transfer siege whilst... Uh, can't transfer occupation whilst there's a siege. Hmm. You there. Take him out. I'll even send my king to do it. And, ah, it shouldn't be too dangerous. He's only 36. He's in his prime. Give it to Brandenburg. And there we go. Oh, Brandenburg is happy. As happy as they are not orthodox. Still no call for peace, which is glorious. And since the war is winding down in scope to a degree... Actually, keeping Castile is good because it stops me from getting the call for peace. And I'm no longer at war with you, so... Perhaps we should rip Austria apart ever so slightly more. Or... 
take care of this guy. Probably a better idea. And my individual war score with Austria is rather low. Saxony, still not ready to admit my supremacy. You guys are a little damaged, maybe you could heal up in... Reinforcement rate is 50% here anyway, so just make your way to the Palatinate. We'll be safe. Jake, make Aquilia a march since you don't plan on annexing them. That's not a bad idea. Can't do it whilst I'm at war, though. They will quickly get over 60%. Sorry, over 60 base tax. So they're going to lose their bonuses, but it should stop them from contributing towards uh, my vassal's desire to kill me. Also, where's my king? Is that enough Saxony? Oh, they just love punishment. They're a lot like me in that regard. Really, where did I put my king? Hmm. Not my brightest idea. Like I said, I don't want him dying to some puny uh, siege. That's a shame <laughs> that uh, fort might have fallen if he was actually there, because I took all the cannons with my with them as well. But again, you just can't sweat the small stuff. I'm also enjoying how I'm not taking attrition in occupied lands that are owned by fully defensive countries. That must be a change. Still, he's got to go. Alright, you've improved enough. Out you get. And that event alone is worth having a uh, Fine Arts Academy for, because it gives you so much money. no call for peace. I don't know why, but uh, I'm not going to question it. I'm just going to enjoy it. Hmm. Bulgaria's desire is uh, growing a little too high. Uh, what's with brand? Oh, yeah, my dip tech is a little too low to have these guys on a leash. But on that leash they shall remain. Especially when I integrate Palots, because that'll take a big chunk out of the vassals' combined strength against me. Jake, who are your vassals? Uh, Bulgaria, Brandenburg, Aquileia, Polotsk, the Pope, and Sicily. Alright, Lika's finally down. Just one of these provinces should be enough to flip Saxony. Continues to wind down. Are there any other things that I want to take or make? Yeah, Aachen got called into this war. I could force them to become uh, my religion, but that doesn't seem nearly as useful as continuing the bullying of Austria.
Austria is being forced into taking quite a few loans here, but it would take a long time, I imagine, and considerably more besieging to actually force them into a state of bankruptcy or near enough. Still, the idea appeals. Jake, do you keep Albania alive on purpose? Yes, they're a good way to get in on Poland, since they're allied with them. And that said, attacking Poland straight on. Oh yeah, that's the problem. Poland will be defended by France, who's defender of the faith. But if I declare war on Albania and make Poland a co-belligerent, we don't suffer any of those problems. Alright, poor Hess want white peace, but forget about them. You lose, you get nothing. Pest is expensive. Zips too. But I do really want uh, Hungary out of the picture here. Somebody said Austria is transferring over their troops. What, by boat? Hmm, yeah, funnily enough, by boat. Alright. It's fine. I was looking for a bit of a navy adventure. Also looking to go and stomp on Muscovy. But I should have some more troops around to do that. <laughs> Catalonia, just wrecking things over there. Alright, try transferring your troops now. Just kidding though, please don't. Jake, if Austria can't move freely because it's not an HRE war, how can you move freely because of military access rules? People I'm at war with have access through other people, and that access goes to me. It's a strange system. Oh, this is actually really handy if Poland has all this occupied. Unfortunately, you are way too big as it is. And this is also nice, better relations over time increase. I'm probably going to want that going to Brandenburg, just so we can uh, get a good connection going on here. I'm all about that. Jake, could you show us your empire? What exactly are the borders of Theodora? Sure. I'm not interested in expanding eastward, so we're pretty much going to stop around here. The steppes can do as they wish. Garbage land, no interest there. And it's not like I have to fight wars in this region. How are those loans doing for you, Austria? Yeah, he's taking more. Eventually, he'll have no income coming in, but he'll still be fielding an impressively large army. 45,000 infantry, 8,000, and the big expense, 27,000 cannon. Which I don't even want to fight, because that will make it cheaper for him. Nah, besieging this land takes so long, though. Curse his, uh, his impressive fort defense. Is there another 10 I could pull back? Sadly not. Alright, we'll fight you. And then help out with you. How's that sound? Speaking of things that are getting my way here, I should blockade to get these sieges going faster. I am so, so sorry, Sicily and Pope, but you knew it was going to come to this eventually. Oh, swell, Bohemer Wall's down. Which means once you finish with that, you both move over here so we can fight Muscovy. Jake, are you going to prettify the borders once you get the achievement? I'm not sure about prettify, but I will crush France. Must be done. They don't even have any uh, Germanic cultured provinces. Or do they? No, they do not. Or do they? They do. Austrian? Ugh. Well, we'll take care of that.
This was a fun war. I enjoyed it a lot. Muscovy still your capital, though. That isn't good for me. And you're no longer my rival, so it's going to be tricky. Hmm. Tricky in terms of saving on the dip cost. I don't think this war is going to be particularly taxing. in my interest to give that back to the Pope? I'm going to have to pay to get it. Mm, maybe not, but... Eh. Oh, it's Hess that has the Diplomatic Defence Act. Ugh, what are you going to do? Forever alone for Austria. And now that's a good idea. I should be renaming all the main um, the main provincial capitals to more gothic ones. Gothskow. Gothskow. What else is a main capital in the area? Novgorod. Novgorod. Although if there's anyone that's really big on their gothic history and could actually provide some considerably better names, I'd love to hear them. Um, the peasants are a pain, but I don't actually mind them taking over the siege. I wonder if I'd defeat them. Peasant morale is dirt. <laughs> Rome equals Shitatsu shows depressive bat cave. Alright, Scandinavia dropped out, but that's fine. If anything, I should hate them for making separate peace, but we know it ain't like that, buddy. Hmm, wow, they did beat me on one of them. Again, that's another manpower sink I could do without. I'm going to move up to Danzig together. And, yeah, now you've got to die. St. Petersburg is a major capital, and so is Danzig. Well, highlight me and give me some, uh, some good names for them. Because a bit of flavor is always nice. Moscow will not be the one to fall today, so it'll be... I will make it Tambov. You die, cockroach. Still no call for peace, which is strange. Very strange. All right, good shout. Get these smaller ones split up, and yeah, four for four sounds good. A one, a two, a three, a four, and my good large stack has the general to chase you down. And you folks are around again, split up. Take it all. Danzig equals Gothzig. It's uh, not very creative, but...
It does give me a sense of taking over, as in I now decide what the name of this place is. Yeah, and again, I don't want my king dying to some uh, some siege in the arse end of nowhere. Saint Gothgrad. Mm, I do like the sound of that. You're going to save me a lot of money. But discipline is getting really good at this stage in the game now that uh, tactics are getting high. back out of this horrible war. Not going to say it was a thing of beauty, but this is rather nice. If it ain't Austrian, it ain't going to be Austria's. I know I can't afford all this, but a man can dream. It's just so expensive. That'll probably be the deal I give Austria. Nice if I could find a way to have um, war reparations never run out. Hmm. His numbers are a little uh, scary the way they swell up. Probably because I didn't bring enough to really stamp him down. But, he won't win. Our cannons are too strong. I'm more lucky can't win. You can't beat me, I've got a better ship. Budapest to Budagoth. Well, I don't own Budapest. Unless one of these are them. No. Nope. And I'm unlikely to own it. Favorite exploit ever discovered? Probably the double missionary bug. I just really enjoy putting down two missionaries. Frankly, it should be a feature. With its own drawbacks, naturally. When do you plan on annexing Polotsk? I want to give them two more helpings of Muscovite pie. After that, I'll probably do so. This helping and then the helping that follows. Ah, all is well. What should I do with Bohemian land, though? Probably sieging it up would be a good start. Hmm. I just 
love the idea that Austria can't do diddly. <laughs>